But Steve's right, it is a lot of work. I, I mean, well, <laughs> I'm guilty your of your car would kind of be fun to, you know, have a little surprise waiting for you in there. I mean, but the, the, people that really want to steal, they'll find a way to That's probably somewhere do that too. It. Somewhere yeah, around it, yeah. <laughs> You want to give me the keys to your car? I'll I'll see what's in there. <laughs> Could you go get it vacuumed while you're at it? And I'll turn the wipers on because you're gonna yeah, need that I'm going. So. Uh, we got showers on the way, but here's the setup and why we've been seeing so much rain. The jet is right over top of us, and even though it's really not gonna do a whole lot for us temperature-wise, it's really funneling or sort of focusing that warm front right along that jet and underneath it. So we're just seeing waves right along that as we get through the next few days and that front will waver a little bit north and south, but generally stay pretty close to us, at least until we get into Friday. So we don't have a whole lot right now on four live radar, but look back here to the west and there's a whole mess of stuff coming out of Chicago and southwest portions of Michigan. Yes, there's quite a bit of lightning out here, but we're not anticipating anything severe tonight. That could change tomorrow afternoon with the round of storms we're expecting late. Just a lot of gray out there today. 49 cloudy skies, temperatures at 49. That's well below average for this time of year, but we're going to make up for that. In fact, you can see those warmer temperatures down here to the south. Those yellows are 70s. The oranges are 80s. We're not going to get in on that, but we will be seeing some 70 degree temperatures. That's in your four zone forecast in just a second. So here's that front timing wise. We're going to see a big push of that rain tonight overnight. A lot of it during the day tomorrow is going to be in our north zone, but we will be watching for scattered thunderstorms south of that front late tomorrow afternoon and into the evening. And then once we get into Thursday late, another round of showers and storms, and then that should put an end to the rain chances during this work week. Thank goodness, because it's going to end up being an inch and a half to two plus inches of water from start to finish 45 tonight. But let's look at these highs tomorrow because they're going to be a whole lot different than what we had today. They're also going to be fueling that thunderstorm risk for possible severe weather. 71 in the city. We'll call it officially 72 at the airport. South zone numbers anywhere between 72 and 74 tomorrow afternoon. So we go from well below average to well above it. 65 to 71 out in the west zone. And because of the front not making it all the way into Sanilac County, there's going to be parts of the area up there in Marlette and Sandusky that only finish in the upper 50s tomorrow. But here's your seven day forecast. The payoff for getting through this tumultuous work week is a beautiful weekend. 64, 69, decent amounts of sunshine Ooh. and no rain. How about Which that? will sound very good to the folks that we've been talking about uh -huh. off the top of the news. Oh, yeah. Time coming. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. OK, let's check in with Dr. McGeorge. Well, do you ever wish you could just write off those extra pounds? Well, new research finds you can. And I'll explain what a new study found ahead in good health. All right, Frank, we're coming up first to look at what shut down I-696 for hours today. We'll have that when we come right back. Local 4 Sports is brought to you in part by Randazzo Heating and Cooling. Join us during our anniversary sale going on now at Weingarten. Our family has been helping families like yours since 1945. Let us show you our exceptional selection, including Cub Cadet Lawn Care Equipment, representing American ingenuity at its best. Our expert service technicians and world-class parts inventory will keep your equipment running like new. We've always known that service goes beyond the sale. From our family to yours, thank, thank you, you for, for letting, letting us serve you. Winter was brutal on your roof. Is it ready for the rain? Mr. Roof will inspect it for free. Don't get wet. Get a new roof for only $49 a month. Just $49 a month. 1-800-4-MR-ROOF. Mr. Roof. The big power companies at it again. They want to fatten their profits and inflict more financial pain on the people of Michigan. They want to pay folks generating solar energy less and charge you more for the same power because they're not interested in doing right by you, only in doing right by their bottom line. Contact your local representative. Tell them you want choice of power, not a monopoly. Then tell the big power company exactly what they can do with their greed. Visit SaveMySolar.com. Power Home Solar. Own your power. In the city, there's a place where summer always shines, where magic happens day and night, where the kids go on the ride of their lives and run in the footsteps of legends, where the heat is turned up by the minute Got him with the fastball. and dreams take flight all summer at Comerica Park. Get your tickets at Tigers.com. 
When I was a young girl, I made rounds at Harper Hospital with my dad. And being able to see the love that he was giving, I knew this was something special. DMC is where I started my journey in medicine, and it's where I'm living my journey in medicine. It's where I came back home. DMC Harper University Hospital is nationally acclaimed for research and teaching. And to me, it is still the home of medical care in Detroit. And I'm proud of that legacy. DMC, a community built on care. Winter was brutal on your roof. Is it ready for the rain? Mr. Roof will inspect it for free. Don't get wet. Get a new roof for only $49 a month. Just $49 a month. 1-800-4-MR-ROOF. Mr. Roof. Local 4's Vote for the Best kicks off with our Pets Edition. Nominate your favorite places now. Find out what's new at clickondetroit.com slash for the best. Presented by Wallside Windows. The westbound lanes of I-696 are back open in Warren after a serious crash this morning. All westbound lanes at Grosbeck were closed for hours after a crash involving a motorcycle and a red pickup truck. Police tell us that motorcycle rider is in critical condition and was not wearing a helmet at the time of the crash. No word just yet on what caused it. You watch him every night hosting Wheel of Fortune here on Local 4, but now Pat Sajak has a new title, College Chairman. Hillsdale College is named Sajak the Board Chairman, Small Liberal Arts College in the Irish Hills. Uh, not a sudden move, though, really for him, because actually Sajak has served on the school's board for more than a decade now. And from Wheel of Fortune, we move to the next program, which is Jeopardy. And James Holzauer barely eked out a win last night to keep his streak going. That's right. Up until today, nobody had come close to beating him. But last night, the 18th straight win for Jeopardy, James, all came down to final Jeopardy. He won with $54,017. But Adam, one of last night's challengers, scored $1 shy of $54,000. And yes, for those of you keeping count at home, James won by $18 <laughs> on his 18th game. Yeah. So will tonight be the 19th? Uh, if it is, will he win by more than $19? Mm. <laughs> Probably. We'll find out on a new episode of Jeopardy! What is Local 4 at 730? <laughs>